one's easier to, I like it. It's easier to bend. Okay. Okay. Because it was just a hair off. Oh, I was just looking to see if I have my notes of who to thank this, this week. And we're just making sure we're live and that the commercials have gone through. And then I'm looking at my iPad to I see if I get a commercial. commercial. I'm dry. I'm going to grab a drink of water. Okay. We're good. Okay. Hey, friends. Happy Wednesday, Friends Day. Thank you for joining us tonight. If you're watching in the replay, we super appreciate you too. Um, this is an illustration by E.H. Shepard, 1926. So the first Winnie the Pooh book is in the public domain. So I blew it up to 8x8. Eight eight. And then I just used a little color pencil and added a few little details to make it just cute and happy and fun for me. Just stuff that I like to do. I put these images in my Annie Tro Art Friends Facebook group because they're not my original illustrations, traceables. Um, it's under the media tab, and there's only one album as I'm videoing this, and it's in the album folder. We're I'm going to grab my phone, and we're going to fly over to my art table and get started. Oh, that was perfect. Yeah, that's what I thought. Other than I didn't know what to do. <laughs> I know. We did. I just said, you're grabbing it, and then we didn't really preface. Well, and my, I, I didn't realize it was so close to time to go. I have greasy fingers from the lotion. <laughs> Here, how are we? Yeah, when I do the setup, it's different than, I think we're good. I think we're good. Gonna turn on my light. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Deborah. Thanks for coming. Taking over Emily's job. <laughs> I just happened to look at the chat. I finally just got a commercial. My iPad is slow, except for now it has me, oh, and it shows more. I always forget. Um, it's kind of crooked or weird. Here, I can straighten it out a little bit. It is a little crooky. A little something, maybe, um, is that worse? Okay, so I got this going because it's an eight by eight and it'll take me a little longer to paint. Um, and also so it can dry. It'll be nice and dry for tonight. I think I'm gonna stick my, my example over there. I, I think they could kind of see how full my art table is in the opening maybe. <laughs> Okay, so I'm using what I call, well, they are uh, quinacridone. Some people don't think the pinkish is a primary, but it, for me, it makes better reds and purples and other colors than if I use uh, a cad red. It, it would depend on the brand too. So I have titanium white, cad yellow medium hue, quinacridone magenta, phthalo blue, and Mars black. And then I use this brush, which is a three quarter inch flat brush from Royal and Royal and Lang Nichols, their Zen line. And I, I did my sweeping sky. I linked in this video's description how to paint. I've got like the best how to paint clouds video, but the beginning of it shows you how I do the sweeping sky. Hmm. Um, and then I just, I did put in a few clouds. When I put the clouds in, I just used, oh, it's like a 3 8 inch filbert brush. It's a really cheap brush from Amazon. Because I like it that's about the right size and I can just push up some paint. That's also in that cloud video. And then I mixed my greens, mixed my browns. Um, the Oh, the blue, I put a little, it's uh, phthalo blue, white, and just a little bit of black to mute it down. I used... This is my traceable. Whoops, don't put it in the paint. What else? Oh, here, we could talk a little bit about, um, I want a little more room. We could talk a little bit about, uh, what do I want to say? Atmospheric perspective. So my sky's bluer at the top and gets a little lighter as it goes down. And then my grass is grayer, like it's a cooler green. And as I come forward, it's a little darker and a little warmer. So that helps give you a sense of going back in space. And that sets the table. Oh, no, it doesn't. That's more normal. I usually do that to Emily. Oh, I didn't say Emily's here with me tonight. Oh, hello. I totally <laughs> skipped over. We were, with, we were worried about the new stand if, thing. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk about that in, in a little bit because yeah, we'll talk about it. Um, I want to say, oh, if you've watched me do the other Pooh Bear videos, which I'm pretty sure I linked them in this video's description, 
a lot of times I don't paint white. So this is white and yellow and white and kind of orange and white and some brown and white. And the white makes it more opaque when you mix it in there. And I have a hard time getting my bear to come up and to be light enough and yellow enough. So I painted that so it could be dry. And then I was just having fun, so I painted the centers of the bugs and the flowers and a little bit of the balloon. Okay, okay. I'm done, Em. Okay, let's see. So far tonight in the chat, we have Cindy, Deborah, and Milena. And then, uh, what, 11 other, 11 other friends? Thank you for coming tonight. Yeah, it's fun that the first book is in the public domain, and I'm hoping the second book will be in 2025. Um, depends on the cop. I mean, copyright isn't like, sometimes I extend it and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to wash off my black chalk pastel, but I don't know if it's doing it. I'm like, why it's dry? It might. Well, Mickey, the first Mickey's in the public domain now. Well, the Steamboat Willie, Willie. movie, little short yeah. cartoon thing is, yeah. But I'm kind of waiting a little bit just to make sure there aren't any, like, let other people jump on that. And yeah. See if something crops up. Yeah, yeah. My art table wiggles side to side quite a bit. Oh, and Marty snuck in there. I don't know if I didn't see or, or if it was after I was done talking. But Marty snuck in there, too. Hey. Oh, and Melina says... Hi, watching Under the Weather with a Bug. Oh, feel better. Yeah, she teaches art class usually when we are live. She has a student. Student or two or three or four. <laughs> I don't know how many. I'm just lightening up my chalk pastel lines. If you want, I don't know if I'll have time tonight, but you can outline this with Posca pens. Ooh. Here, in case you don't know, I'll show you. Um, acrylic paint markers, water base. You don't want oil because the oil won't stick. I, so I saw a video where someone was saying, and he's like an artist guy. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to say who it was now. Um, but he was saying, get the oil pens, and he's putting them over his acrylic paintings. I'm like, no. No. You can do oil over acrylic, but you can't do acrylic over oil. I'm like, no. Okay, I need to get painting here. Wait, he was putting the oil over his acrylic, though, right? Um, oh, yeah, he can do that. <laughs> <laughs> whoops. Whoops, whoops. Okay, okay. he's fine. Yep, Retract he that statement. He's fine. Except for I feel like then he was putting acrylic over it or something. Oh, okay. I, but I'm trying to save myself, maybe. Yeah. Here, yeah, let's do this. So then the paints are more in the frame and I can pull them. Okay, I'm going to just take some white and some quinacridone. We'll work on Piglet. Oh, this is a number four round from Royal and Lang Nickel. It came in a pack of I don't know how many brushes. I like the little rubber gripper. Mm-hmm. I like that. I like those when I would paint in school too. Yeah. I like the grippy. They're pretty inexpensive. I just grabbed a little white and... Oh, I'm thinking my sun's coming from. I'm going to use the little sun still. I got new tape for it. <laughs> Emily's original sun. After last week when he kept hitting the trash. Kept throwing it in the trash. I'm going to pick it up because I'm getting a little glare. So there isn't much to this one, really. So like, sometimes I just blended wet and wet, and if it wanted to dry on me, I let it dry, and I just come back with a lighter color over the top, or just whatever happens to work. You know, you could take a little white and just scumble it over. Dry brush it over might make sense. I really want to pick it up so I can push up against the line. But these have been, these videos and the traceable, well, they're not my, they're my, I don't know what to call them. They're my traceables, but they're E.H. Shepherds. I forget what the E and the H stands for. His original illustrations from the first Winnie the Pooh book. Um, they've been popular. Mm -hmm. People seem to like them. Yeah, and didn't someone, 
what was it? Like it's on a beach towel or something? Yeah, or a shower curtain. Yeah, shower thing. curtain. That'd be, that'd be cute in a kid's bathroom. All our snow we got last week. All of the neighborhoods, like all the streets are clear. They're clear and they're so soggy. It sounds like it's raining out there. Yeah, it's it's soggy. When we're gonna be we're gonna be fifty in a week or so. Friday, I saw that next week is a high of fifty two. Wow. So I'm not filling my one tire that it claims it's low until I see that temp. Yeah. Because it like caught I caught it on that low day and now even though all of them are the same it's still only telling me that one is low that's kind of a it'd be nice to tell you how low mine it does oh it does mine doesn't yeah so like i think my um on the really cold day when i picked my car up from the dealer or whatever from the recalls they it was like 29 on the one tire and so it triggered it and then once I drove it, it got up to like 30 something again. I think it's supposed to be 35. And now that it's warmer out, they're like 32 yeah. again. So. Well, we had an overnight we'll low of 21 below zero was the actual air temperature. Yuck. I know. I'm like, Yuck. ooh. But yeah, I literally came here in a sweatshirt because it feels like warm. <laughs> well, and it's more humid. It's, it's 30 degrees out. It's literally here, let's see. It's 35 degrees out, and I came here in a sweatshirt because I was like, oh, it's so warm out. Well, with all the snow melt, it's a little bit more humid, so it would feel warmer. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, Marty says, I had ice. School started today. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, the south. Parts of the south have had terrible ice. Yeah, I saw, I don't know where it was, but I saw some video of like a fire truck going to like oh, yes. some 911 emergency Spinning. type thing. And it spun out, almost hit two different houses and like slammed into a car and tree. Yeah, I saw oh. that too. That's probably everybody's seen that one. Yeah, probably everyone. I assume I, it's all over everywhere. I have no idea where that was, but it literally, like the street just looked like a sheet. Yeah, that was terrible. The woman on the phone's going, oh. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, ice is, oh, I'd rather have the snow. Yeah, I agree. Well, and I'm, I'm not unhappy, but they sanded my street today. <laughs> <laughs> Seems a little late, but, so I guess I am a little unhappy, but I'm like, oh, thank you. If it freezes overnight, that's helpful. Yeah. Course is very cute and fun. Thanks. And Tinker's here. Hi, Tinker. Hey. Yeah, we're just painting. I mean, this you could do this with. I'm painting this like I'm using my colored pencils or my chalk pastels, or I got a little brush. I'm all choked up on it, using it like a like a pencil. This is just more because people seem to enjoy them, and they're in the public domain. Tigger's in the next book, but I don't know how he doesn't look like. Oh, and that's something I was saying to Emily is like my, my pooper got, when I traced him, got a little chubby. Got chubby. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he had his honey already. Yeah. Um, and I don't, I don't know what Tigger looks like, but I imagine he's not quite as cute as, you know, the current. I think all the characters got a little cuter over the years. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't need to do that. I'm thinking that's his sleeve or something. I need to go like this. Sorry, guys, I can't figure out what's going to work best for me here. So that's kind of a, like almost, it's not really wet on wet. That's more of a dry brush blending. The white helps cover the background. Which is why I painted Pooh Bear already. He's not done. I just got a coat on him. Because last time we did him, oh, sometimes I he's fight. a little translucent. <laughs> he's translucent, a little and I fight. To, it's hard. It can be hard and take a lot of layers to bring up the yellow over the background. Mm -hmm. I, for a minute, I thought about not painting the whole background, you know, but it's small enough. That I thought, oh, that's going to be kind of hard to get a smooth sky. 
around the figures. So I didn't do that. That's so funny, I forgot to introduce you. It's fine. What's always interesting to me, so I went looking, so I have a, a inexpensive copy of Winnie the Pooh. Or, I don't know, you know, even the illustration, I don't know. Well, I suppose the illustration in the original book are small and kind of rough, so when you blow mm -hmm. them up. Um, I always kind of double, like, double check because I don't trust that the reprint thing the is The reprint right. is accurate, you mm -hmm. know. But then I see all these people selling all kinds of copyrighted things. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm always, I'm not amazed. I'm just like, man. But I suppose it's hard to police. Mm -hmm. But the reason I'm thinking of that is because a lot of the ones I saw of this one on the bench, they have the feet black. So I, think, I don't know if they didn't know what they were. But they have piglet's feet. Oh, black and so I'm like well I don't like that one well I assume they're black because they did he just draw like a circle on the bottom so you know that's like the bottom of his foot type deal and then people thought it was like a shoe maybe I don't whoever know. whoever colored it in yeah I don't think knew what it was or something I don't know or maybe I'm wrong painting them pink but they just kind of look like blobs that you hmm. don't know what they are I'm like no it's Piglet's feet. <laughs> so it could take longer painting little details than if you're doing sort of a paint by number. It can take a while. Okay, I'm gonna work on the balloon and then I think we'll put a layer on or maybe I should put a layer on Winnie the Pooh mm -hmm. I, maybe I should make a decision actually I'm gonna go with the balloon because I think they're both gonna need so not as much red in the yellow oh I've got orange there too I could just use the orange and then make it darker for the red but the quinacridone is really strong compared to the cad yellow so you want to sneak up on it with the quinacridone. And you could use more of your palette. I just was thinking it wouldn't be in frame. But I think I've got plenty of room when I look at the stream. Mm hmm you do. Gravy said, howdy y'all, I'm late. And then also said, uh, uh, did his job of reminding everyone to like the video. His job. <laughs> yeah. Like we assigned it to him. Basically. And, and well, we, kind of like... Um, we're not going to fire him. It's kind of like when you're yeah, when you, when you already at work or whatever, and then all of a sudden you kind of start doing that task. Oh, yeah, and you're and then, stuck with it. And then you're stuck with it. Yeah, so he got stuck with the task. <laughs> so that's kind of a red-orange, but I might go with it. I can always... Make it darker. I might add just a little bit of white to it for coverage. Maybe you could see it's orange. But that's more ye definitely yellow orange. Let's see. And I'm going to grab some. So it's going to be transparent, and I'm going to run into the problem that I've run into with past Winnie the Poohs where it doesn't want to cover, <clears throat> excuse me, very well. Mm -hmm. Which is why I painted a little bit on the balloon. Oh, Gravy said, I'm, uh, he did cry, crying laughing faces, but he said, I'm glad to promote this channel. We're glad to have thank you. Thank you, thank you. I was thinking, Emily, I wanted to watch Oppenheimer, but do we have to watch it in one sitting if we pay to rent it? Yeah, because usually if you pay to rent it, you only have it for like 48 hours. Well, I could come back or something, or we could... 
Um, yeah, I'll just watch it myself. Huh? I was gonna say that I have literally no interest. In oh, don't you? It. I've heard, no, I've heard it. Maybe the people in the chat or the replay. Will, I've heard it's really good. Yeah, Chase saw it twice in theaters. Oh, he liked it. Of course, mm-hmm. I, that's that's so Chase though. You know, history and. Hmm. Marty says I looked up Tigger. He is a stuffed tiger, not the Tigger of today. Oh. Yeah, Pooh Bear's a stuffed bear, too. Let's see. You know what? I'm going to probably just add some white and get coverage and then come Oh, yeah, back. he looks way more like a tiger. Oh, does he? I mm-hmm. didn't look him up. He doesn't have, like, his little white oh, I went to look. mouth, face situation and his white belly. He's like a whole tiger. Honestly, he has more accurate striping. <laughs> He's, like, more ac- like accurate to what a tiger looks like. Kind of makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for Mickey, because, like, I know that they were really panicking. I mean, they were doing everything they could to try and not have Mickey be in... The public domain. I haven't seen anything yet, but also it's literally January twenty fourth. <laughs> oh, people are doing. He's been on the news, and oh, okay, <clears throat> people are doing things, and but I just thought, you know, let's just wait a little bit. Kind of like not buying the latest and greatest technology and let everybody else get yeah. the kinks. Yeah, don't buy the first model of the new car kind of thing or whatever. Yeah, the very first electric car. Mm-hmm. Yeah, wait, wait for someone else to work the kinks out. Yeah, st- and I don't know if there's gonna be any kinks, but. I don't know. Just be a little safe. Like how I had that first gen iPod, and then however many years later we got new ones because the battery was supposedly would it just randomly explode. Oh, I didn't. Yeah. Do you remember that? No. And then I got the iPod Shuffle thing that doesn't have a screen or whatever because they didn't even make the iPod that I had anymore. That part I kind of remember. But... I decided just to use mix some white in here just to get oh. some color down and <laughs> Gravy says the original stuffed animals are nightmare fuel. <laughs> they kind of are scary. Um, I, I what is so. with that? Why are like why were toys like how when did to, when did they make the dynamic or like the when where was, I I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I guess like where did they create the science behind like oh this is cuter and this is whatever because toys did used to be like some of the toys that were in your um, vintage old old toys yeah like the ones that were in the bedroom I don't think it's not like you ever lived there but the bedroom at Graham and Gramps' house that was like the kid bedroom mm-hmm. but it had your toys some of those were kind of scary yeah and creepy I don't, I don't know I don't remember my toys being t- of course I liked. Like, I was excited when I got a red, white, and blue football for Christmas. <laughs> there was a teddy that was kind of creepy. Yeah. The dolls were a little creepy. Maybe it's all the dust and the age on them, too. True. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm 60, so. And some of those could have been like Uncle Mark's. Oh, see, look at that. Having the under, like the underpainting. Just makes that yellow so much easier than what mm-hmm. I've done in other videos. You guys should go watch me struggle with. One time he came out real orange. He like he got a bad spray tan. Pretty orange. Well, and I was going. I was trying to go for drama, mm-hmm. and it just went south on me. Drama being, you know, more values, and he still might need another coat. But that's definitely. So I already yeah. have the values. So now I'm just glazing. The yellow is semi-transparent. Mm-hmm. I think it was just the last one we did. He looked like he got a quick spray tan before going to the Bahamas Might or something. Have been the last one. Oh, I made a Winnie the Pooh playlist because there's four or five of them now. Oh. I thought that since they're kind of their own thing anyway. I'm, mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't think I told you. Em. No. Oh, Marty says Oppenheimer's on Peacock. Oh, is it? Peacock's been getting the like fresh out of the. Is it? Like they've been kind of pulling an HBO and getting the fresh out of the. Theater ones, because they also have the holdovers, one that you saw with Jack or whatever. Yeah, I um, just searched last night where to watch Oppenheimer, and it told me to go to Amazon Prime for Let me look. six Ooh. bucks. Hmm. I mean, it'll, sometimes, it usually gives you multiple options, but it'll always, it'll always tell you Prime, because you can always rent Well, it. it gave me, like, three options, and they were all pay. Oh. <gasps> we have Peacock. Maybe I'll start that tonight. 
Ah, bener. Oh, coming February 16th. If you can hold off. Oh, I can hold. A couple weeks. Oh, that makes me think of your birthday. What do you want for your birthday? I don't know. <laughs> Come on, for everybody. <laughs> I don't know. Just had the whole Christmas frenzy. Yeah, I know. That's the hard thing. Is at least Christmas my birthday was so close. Yeah, at least my birthday was before Christmas and pretty much in conjunction with. So mm -hmm. I wasn't over like done. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, great. It's just one big party. Whereas you, it's like, oh, we just did Christmas and presents and. Mm -hmm. Well, and it was easier, like pre. I, I feel like I was like, oh yeah, I got leftover list from Christmas, really. Oh, when you're young. When you're yeah. when you're a kid and yeah. like, and also pre Chase, because you know, really, it was just it was only you guys buying me gifts. Yeah, there wasn't a whole other family. Yeah, so um, I felt like all right, I feel like I already am hurting to just come up with like, what do I even need? Socks. I gave Chase socks on my on my like, what do I need for Christmas? Or what do I, like, my Christmas list? Well, we could does. go to a couple of stores and buy you a whole bunch of yarn. Yarn. Ooh. Or, you know, whatever your latest. back in the yarn phase. I love that. So there's where, you know, some people are like, I don't like that the color's transparent. It juices them up. Well, and I like that I can just paint it over and I have all the value. I mean, it softens the values, lightens them up a little bit, but I think that's really neat. I find, so I have, does this fourth or fifth Pooh Bear, I got it right. Yeah. Gwen says sweet. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming. And if I want to go define the values in some more, I can to make them a little darker. Oh, I just grabbed the, what size is this? It says number 10, my paint covered ruler. Gosh, this could be close to a quarter inch. I feel like that's big, a little bigger than a quarter inch, though. Well, and I don't know if you've noticed, but I'll buy, say, a number 16 round from Princeton, and they're all made just a little bit different. Mm -hmm. They won't be exactly the same. Just like my yarn. I swear I have two of the same color, but I think I bought the yarn at two different times. Oh, yep. And so they're like two different shades yep. when I put them next to each other, and I'm like, ooh. Yep. Oh, Chase popped in with his 99. Excuse me. <laughs> what have you been drinking, Em? Chase popped your Diet Coke. <laughs> or no, your Diet and your Dr. Pepper. <laughs> what have um, you Chase popped in with his 9.99 and his goat, little goat emoji. Hey, Chase, man. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. I never officially thanked Chase during the break. I guess that's PayPal, Venmo people. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, because Super Chat people, we just see it right away. No, is he too light? The other ones have been so dark. I know. <laughs> no, this is winter, Pooh Bear. Like, he's just come out of winter. It's spring. The little buggies are coming out. He hasn't got his tan yet. Yeah. I just looked at my watch, so I know we're almost Oh, yeah, the... it's one minute to yeah. normal. I think I'll put in the yellow and then let it dry. and Like the yellow on the bees. Mm-hmm. So, I, so I'm going to do the bees a little different if I remember. Just put some, do them more like I've seen. I don't know if they're in older Winnie the Pooh books or other people have done it this way. I'm not sure. But I, oh, that's a pretty decent way to do bees. Easier. Oh, um, an interesting thing that happened that maybe people that crochet and knit and have a bunch of yarn laying around that they don't use for a long time. Like you? Yeah. Um... So I left, or I was working on a blanket pre-Christmas, and then, like, I made your scarf and stuff. So I oh, my stopped scarf. working on yeah. my blanket, and I uh, left it, like, in a bag. And not even, like, in a plastic bag. I left it in, like, one of my tote bags that I take around hmm. with yarn in it. And when I came back to it, it literally smelled, like, chemically factory whatever oh. and i've never had that happen to my yarn it's before. the dye yeah and no yeah it smelled like not like you know jeans that have that very distinct dye smell but it no, smelled but... something like that so i've been every time i make a square um or i attach a row to the blanket i've been like washing it because <laughs> it's 
stinks. Oh. And so now I'm now that the blanket's big enough that I can just like put it over my lap and it's just like a square. I think it's like six by six square. Um, until I have a lot, then I'll really attach a lot and then I'll rewash it. But I've never had that happen where they it oh. stinks like that. I used to work at a clothing store and you'd open up those clothes. I mean it wasn't just mm-hmm. jeans, it was anything. Yeah, and I mean like when I worked at the um interior interior design studio like we would get we i would open like um accessories or like a piece of furniture and if it you could smell if it came on a boat because just it just stinks like unmoved unlived in water sea (laughs) business yeah (laughs) business i've been trapped in a crate for a month or something but i've never had that happen and i was like what the heck and my bag, the bag doesn't smell weird. and I've never noticed it. We'll co- oh, I suppose the yarn's open. I was going to say, I've never noticed it, but like if, when I roll some yarn for you. Yeah. But it's already open and been sitting on the shelf. And... Mm-hmm. Hmm. The ones that I do pull from the ottoman smell like the inside of the ottoman, which smells like furniture. <laughs> but that's a different, that's a, my ottoman problem, not the... Yeah. Are we done? Yeah. With stinky smells. <laughs> okay. I just want to take a minute and thank Marty L for sending money through PayPal. Hey, Marty, Ooh, I got a new tripod. Me. I emailed her that I was going to buy a tripod. <laughs> I got a new tripod um, and I really like it. It's smaller. It's yes. sturdier. Uh, we used it for the intro. I don't think you'll be able to tell because I still have to grab my phone and bring it over to my mm-hmm. table. And then DC... D, and then their last initial is C, and then either Corinne or Corrine P. They also sent money through PayPal. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. I super appreciate it. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we need, we need like a sound A sound, yeah. That'd be fun. Yeah, like the crowd, like the sports crowd. But I, yeah, I I, um, I hope I don't miss anybody, but I send a, when I get the notice from PayPal, Mm-hmm. You know, I send a thank you. And it also says, like, you know, if you if they're new, like, you might like this or you might like that. Mm-hmm. And then if you want, I have an email list that I rarely use, but it helps keep us connected, that kind of stuff. But anyway, I was telling uh, Marty, like, hey, I got, I had it in the cart. <laughs> it's, uh, the other one was so, it was, it's a good tripod. I had, have it, I've had it since high school. My dad used it for a long time, and then I got it back. Mm-hmm. But so it so when I put like a video arm clamp that just you know tightens the screws clamps onto yeah. it, there's the other screw that would go up into the camera. Yeah. So you can't. So it's kind of wobbly. It's very we. It was very jerry rigged. Jerry rigged. Yeah. yeah. I'm like oh. Whereas this is a tripod that actually is meant to hold your phone. Phone and it has a smaller footprint, which is nice. Mm-hmm. All right, cool. I'm gonna make a purple. Oh no, I made a green. I forgot I made a green. No, I was trying to go for a bright green, that vivid line green that I use once in a while. I could pull that out. Oh, I'm like, why does Pooh Bear feel cold? Because it's still kind of wet. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, now it's not dark. I was so worried about it being too dark. It's too light. Marty says, it was meant to be, smiley face. Yes, thank you. That's funny. I'm like, okay, the one we have is fine, you know. Yeah, it is a big, like I can walk all the way around this one now. Yeah, it so helps. That's got to be nice since. Since we have tighter quarters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's nice. It is nice. I don't I get this comment very often, but I recently got, you know, that they want to see the, the, well, this is not necessarily a good example, but the reference photo and the palette and what I'm painting, um, at the same time, I'm like, well, you know, maybe someday we'll have the software and the real estate to. Mm-hmm. You know oh, what? Gee, we wouldn't be in the same room anymore. No, we'd have to be in the same room. I'll probably run it from your oh. desk. No, I have to run it from your laptop so you can stay here. Then I hear my laptop go. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll have to get you a new laptop. <laughs> 
one step at a time. We got a tripod. Yeah, no, yeah. Well, and we didn't used to have microphones. That, that, mm-hmm. The microphones were definitely smart to buy mm-hmm. first, even though they're not, you know, I don't, whatever, P- people who know sound and all that stuff. These were not that expensive, but they, they help. Occasionally I'll listen to a YouTuber and they're in a room, like I don't have anything on the walls and you get echoing. You can tell. And it's like, after a while, it's like, oh, that bugs me. Mm-hmm. You know, even a cheap microphone is good. Okay. I'm still not happy with that green. And I'm going to darken it and not like it. It's like, I should just leave it alone. Yeah, because then it gets to be too much the same value as the as the background. I don't know, Freckles will, my cat, I used to call her president and CEO of my business. Kind of stopped. I just call her boss. She is. I just call her boss now. Um, Went to the vet today, so I don't know. I think she's really tired. She's, yeah, she's angry at mom. I don't don't think she's mad at me too much. I don't know. I thought she was kind of cursing at you earlier. Oh, okay. (laughs) Oh, I guess she was kind of yelling. Yeah, she's yelling at us. Oh, she'll make an appearance. She scrubbed her cheeks on your foot. Well, yeah, that's why I was thinking she wasn't mad at me. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's probably like um, a love hate, you know, like gosh, she's like I need some scratches right now, and that foot feels really good. Yeah, but you keep me it. warm at night. You feed yeah, me in the morning. Yeah. But boy, am I mad at you. <laughs> yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah, <laughs> like she, like someone, you make someone something nice and like a little snack, and then she turns around and eats it at the face in the wall, grumpy. Yeah, I was gonna make a purple, and I decided to. Get another layer on the balloon. Gosh, has my light, my art table always wiggled? It's like goes side to side quite easily. I think so. I just don't, wasn't noticing. Look at that. Oh yeah. Yeah, she's always been wobbly. Uh. Maybe it's not. We could probably butt it more, and that's probably a little. Well, maybe, but I've also got paper towels, so it doesn't rub all over the mark up the wall bad. Yeah. You know, we'll figure it out. I know, sat in a video recently. I'm like, wow, that's going side to side. I'm getting some glare from my light over here, but I think that's working. I don't like that shape. I couldn't see it. I think we'll just leave it alone. Okay, purple. Should we paint the, really I should paint the bench and then the things on top of the bench. Kind of work back to front is a good, good plan. I mean, acrylics are forgiving and if you're doing little detail work, it's not that, not big a deal. I'm kind of wishing I could get, I'm definitely gonna use a Posca pen, pen at least for the string. Oh, that's a little lighter. Okay, purple. I'm always bad at saving myself some clean, fresh paint. I kind of grab from everywhere. I really painted myself into a corner, so to speak, by not using the whole palette. Oh, that thalo blue was really strong, wasn't it? And I wasn't thinking about it. Did you hear that? Mm-hmm. Every once in a while, I'm like, oh. We could hear a train. Okay, let's see. In case you're wondering. Let's go this route. Oh, it was like a couple days ago. Mm-hmm. I swear, um, it sounded way closer. But all I would hear is boop, boop. Like two toots. Oh. I think it depends on which way the wind's blowing, you know. Oh, maybe. Because yeah. it usually isn't that quite that loud. Yeah, it was so, I was like, is there a drax really close to me that I don't know about? Yeah. Well, it also depends on when they blow it because they go under, I'm not going to say this cross streets, and but they 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 don't need to, but sometimes they, they blow it when they go under a major street. I think sometimes just the engineers are bored and trying to stay awake. 
and blow the horn. Or, I, I don't know. I mean, who knows? Who knows what it's like to be a train engineer? I still didn't have enough magenta. I feel like I'm going too slow to get this done in time. I don't know what we're going to do for the next live. I need, I've been requested by my agent to paint a, a baby Highland cow for a manufacturer for garden flags. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't think, I mean, you always kind of have to interpret what they, I'm like, I don't think they want a baby baby because it starts to look like a dog. But I've noticed that some other artists have put short horns on them, mm -hmm. a little bit more kinda bangs on it. them. Yeah. But that's more of a, like a juvenile then or mm -hmm. teenager. I don't know. I didn't really research. A tween, if you will. Yeah, I didn't really <laughs> research stages of a Highland cow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm going to grab a little white here. Oh, and I got blue. I need space. I have not managed my palette well. Hair. Just move them down the block. Mm, Melina says, I'm going to start on your Highland cow. Oh, I have a couple. I don't know how many videos I have. There was a one with a, mostly yellows. I think that was one of the first ones to get into a book or a contest or something. Mm -hmm. but I don't know if there's a video on that one. I think there is. There was someone a while ago in the... Oh, that's too pink. In the group that posted I think like they're working on Mavis and I thought at first scroll I was oh. like did someone just post like a screenshot of your video it was it looked just like yours Isn't and they were funny? like I don't know do I scrap this and I was like oh my god no. no I think someone had already said like oh my god I thought that was Annie's <laughs> yeah. it's hard like I always have to tell myself get the whole thing in you know kind of guess at what you think you want the values to be for me, I keep my paint kind of not thin, like transparent, but just smooth. So I don't have a lot of ridges. And then just kind of go, okay, I want it lighter here, darker there. You know, once I get everything in. Mm -hmm. But if it, like that cow I painted, or that painting, the three cows was, was that like 30 by 40? That's yeah, he's a big in. Pretty big painting. So I went bluer after I made it redder just so it doesn't look like piglet. Mm hmm. I like the blue. Maybe a little water. I think this would be fun with colored pencils. That would be fun. I did. I mean, that's what this is, but I did it quick. Be fun. Be fun with lots of things. Watercolor. Elena says yellow and green background. Question mark. Um, I mean, I can just go to your site and find your cows. No, just yellow. It's pretty much a yellow. It's old. I don't know if it's a video. It's comb over. I don't know if you remember M. I thought you've done another though. Oh, I've done several. Okay. I, was, I was just talking about the yellow one. Oh, you were just talking about the yellow one. And, she, and since someone said yellow yeah. and green background. Let's see. I might have a video for it. Hmm. Might be old enough. I'm going to go look. Oh, I typed Melina into my search bar. That's who sent the chat. We'll see if she pops up in my videos. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to go to YouTube, but I was like, but I was thinking about that Melina commented that and I typed her name into chat or into my search bar. Yeah, I do that too. Guess what you're thinking about? Mm-hmm. Let's see. There might not be a video. Let's see. There's hippie hair. No. Um, I don't think there's a video. Yeah. J 
jump. Oh, and I never wipe off my brush when I rinse it off and sometimes water likes to roll down. Oh, I can still see water. Thought I got it. I really want to pick this up like I'm reading a book, but then it's off camera. Yeah, I don't think there is. You're right. I felt like he wasn't that long ago. You know, it all feels like it's not that long ago. I and know. I'm like, oh. Yeah, you said the. There's. What's the oldest one? The oldest one. It was three years ago. Which one is that one? That one is hippie hair. Oh, is that the one where it kind of looks like it's in a landscape? Like a Yeah, I think he was the spaghetti haired. Or... Oh, that's spaghetti hair. Yeah. And then the other long haired one where it kind of like parts in between his eyeballs. <laughs> you know? I have more color and... <laughs> oh, because like the hippie hair one, you don't really see any of his eyeballs and it's more muted. And that doesn't. Okay. And then this is like when you started really juicing up. It was the first Highland Calf you started juicing up the colors. Yeah, I don't really I mean, know. all the backgrounds are the same, basically colored. Green, blue. This one's mostly green and there's like a river running behind him. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. <laughs> and then the other one I see is from eight months ago. And he's a smaller painting. Looks like a 12 by 12 or a 10 by 10, probably 12 by 12. And then he's got the green, mostly green background and then like, cause it's got a high horizon line and then a little bit of sky. And he's got the one part, he's got like the Justin Bieber comb over looking business. Yeah, I don't think yellow was in a, mm -hmm. I don't think I was doing, I think I might've been doing pet portrait videos, but I don't think I was doing Oh, maybe. YouTube videos. Mm hmm He sold at Ginger's at that gallery. Huh. Hmm. Deborah says, Come Over is an acrylics work magazine, 2021. Yep, that's on my website. We, but we would have been. Oh. We were, I thought we were doing videos in 2021. 21? Yeah. Oh, this is gonna. Now I gotta go real hunt. <laughs> oh, but because it's in acrylics work 2021 doesn't mean you did it. Yeah, like, so right? I probably paint. I might have painted, painted in 2020, 2020, maybe. Depending on what time of year. It sold fairly. It sold within a, you know, a year. It sold Let's within a few oldest. months. I don't know. Uh, I'm looking kind of for a medium purple. I'm being, I just need mm. to. He, he has a, a small highlight in the, um, like right when you started just doing like what's hanging at this gallery's videos. Oh, he's in that. And I don't even know if you talk in them at all. I think you just put text in them. He's, he's at Ginger's hang up yeah. in one of those. Okay, you were right, you were right, you were right. You probably were going, Mom, you should do YouTube. I'm like, I don't want to. Probably. I'm like, Mom, you should do YouTube. I'm like, I'm worried about the extra work. <laughs> How many excuses did I have? A lot. <laughs> well, Mom, if you're doing that video anyway. <laughs> yeah. Stop being logical. Because, <laughs> like, if I do it, we're, I'm going to be all in. I mean, it's not funny. I thought it was kind of funny. Oh, maybe I didn't hear it. I was listening to us, and I was I was smiling and laughing at because I I get the I get us a second later. Oh yeah, no, I no I no I just mean, I thought it was funny how I resisted. Oh yeah, it was funny. I just kept persisting. Yeah, it's like okay. <laughs> Especially because you already kind of then started like you were like no, and then you would like film little videos anyway. A little bit. Like, I was like doing the, the pet portraits. You were doing the pet portrait time lapse. I did a couple for fabric, or mm -hmm. one for fabric and one for, I don't know what it was. Mm -hmm. well, I was like, then... you're already going to post those for like the purpose of 
the manufacturer or whoever, you might as well. Well, and then, well, we started with the chalk videos on the driveway, which we've talked about before. Mm -hmm. Mm, Melina asks, what is acrylic works? Um, it's a magazine. It's Art Artist Network is the company. It used to be Artist Network and Northlight Books. Um, and then you can enter in art competitions. And so acrylic works, I think they're up to 11. So they've been doing it for 11 years. Um, and then acrylic artists submit their work and it's the best they have judge or judges and it's the best acrylic artists of the year are in the mag. This is a magazine now. So it's, I don't think they, they used to call it like, like acrylic work six. I think it was a book. I was in that book. And then they stopped making the book because of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. um, what was I going to say? Don't and they remember. moved to magazine? Yeah, it's a magazine, but there's some other point I was working up to and I, and I was trying to paint. <laughs> So it's a feature, it's it's a US magazine that features the best acrylic artists of the year. Based on submission. Based on submissions. Yeah. They're not going out and hunting for Well, they know. Like if you don't sign up for their emails or don't know about it. Mm hmm And you don't submit. I do get emails from some company that tell you all about all the art contests, but I don't know who it is. Hmm. It's cool. Yeah, but I, they're not, I don't think there's, they're not so, so Northlight Books used to do a lot of art books. And I don't know if they aren't around anymore. They just aren't doing it with Artist Network. Mm hmm I need to enter into some uh, stuff with Nopes. Uh, National Oil and Acrylic Painter Society. Um, it helps just, it's kind of like subscribers and you know, it just helps with the street cred. They have a few mentions now and then. <clears throat> My cows do well. Just across the board. I license them, I sell them, and they make, they they get into contests. It's kind of funny. Well, maybe I'm the only cow painter, but I don't think so. You're the cow lady. Cow lady. Melinda says, ah, thank you. That was over explaining. <laughs> I end up going with black just to get a better shadow here. Yeah, we're doing an emerging artist show at the downtown gallery I'm in in Omaha, Nebraska. The Artist Cooperative Gallery in the old market area of Omaha, Nebraska. Mm -hmm. um, and when I was telling people to, you know, apply, I'm like, if you don't get in, don't worry about it. It's, it's just juried and it's just people's opinions. And it doesn't mean your art's not good enough, you know. Mm -hmm. And I tell them the same thing, too, if they apply to become a member of the gallery. I'm like, don't worry. Try not to worry. Because, I mean, you feel like, oh, is my art not good enough? Why didn't I get in? Mm -hmm. You know. Well, last year, we didn't have any openings. Yeah. Like, or, and was that last year or was it the year before oh. that? Like, the openings you did have were, like, 3D. Um, you know? I, yeah, I don't remember that part. Like, our, there's something but last we're year we about. Don't, two artists came back and we only had two openings. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes we only have an opening for 3D or, or same for art, art, art competitions. But I also like supporting, I mean, you know, entering supports their cause. You should do that duck stamp thing. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose I could. I saw that recently. Like a that used to be a huge deal. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if is it still a huge deal. I don't know. I suppose I should. I'd probably sell them right away. There's like usually ultra real realism. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I'm like I'm, I don't know if I'd be realistic enough for their tastes. I'm kind of losing the shadow I painted under there with the green grass. Have you ever done a duck? I did a duck that looked really funny because we did it during a live. Yeah. 
and it looked like this huge duck. Oh, it did. I remember that. It looked because I the photo did not translate well. Yeah. So it, I, it was a great example of how photos don't always translate well into paintings. Yes. <laughs> Because it looked like you just put out like a mega duck. It was like a big duck statue. Well, and I changed it. I didn't follow the reference photo completely, which can be can make a difference. Mm -hmm. And I put a sky and stuff behind it. And I'm like, oh, the angle isn't right. And it looks like looks like monster. Let me find that. that monster duck is kind of funny. I mean, it's a decent painting. But, yeah. But I'm like, oh. Yeah, there's didn't... something about the perspective where I don't know. Yeah, it did not work. <laughs> I remember when we hung up, or when we stopped the live, and, and we were both like, and I was like, that just looks like a really big duck statue. It does. Well, I think you said during the live. Oh, maybe I did. Maybe I, I didn't even spare you. <laughs> no, I agreed. I'm like, this doesn't look right. <laughs> I, I think you learn more from your mistakes than your successes, too. I don't, you know, that doesn't, I was frustrated, but everybody... I don't know if you see a, like a like that's one thing about the lives is like oh she you know doesn't get the value right all the time she doesn't you know she doesn't always know what she's doing. Can I it? <laughs> it's like that's normal. Oh, here he is. It's just a duck head kind yeah. of or something. I found him. So I'm just adjusting my values just so my edges show. I can always go darker, change it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he just looks like a giant duck. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's kind of like she has a bad taste in her mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember this duck. Yep. Was, you know. I think the videos are a little better. I mean, you just, you don't necessarily improve super fast you know but compared to my first ones well I know the microphones were a huge huge help he's a good looking duck like the, i like the lighting and oh, the light direction on him you know there's a lot of the good things about it it's just like oh your flowers kind of saved him well we put those in to help save it. i know <laughs> <laughs> like, how can we save this It's easier to push up against an edge than to, um, what would be the opposite? It's easier to push up against an edge. I can just stop right there. That's really light. Speaking of not getting it right, I could argue that it's okay, though. So if you want to see an edge, you need the contrast. If you don't want to see it, and you want more of the same value. So I made this lighter here so the shadow underneath showed. I think I already said that maybe. Values do the work, color gets the credit. And in a drawing, it's really hard to see how this bench works. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of like Mr. Shepherd. Of course, this drawing is probably really small. Or maybe it made sense when he did it and then they reduced it so small. Mm -hmm. Although they would have to cut some sort of plate or, I don't, I don't know, 1926? I, I, used, know. I used to know all the printing things and I don't know anymore. You know, metal type, metal letters and... Yeah. I don't know how they did it. I'm just darkening, darkening it. That's it. I kind of want it dark under there. I don't know if I'm going to lose the edge. I'm going to lose the edge. We could not worry about it. Let's just let it dry and see what we think. Let's see, we need white petals, we need wings, we need piglet is sort of ghostly. I 
I don't know how much time. Here, let me think about this. I spent... Oh, at least an hour on the background. Not to say that you need to, just to let you know that I'm not speedy. And if you're not speedy, join the club. I don't know, I'm kind of thinking Pooh Bear needs a little orange and I'm probably going to get in mm -hmm. trouble. Oh, yeah. Emma said, mm hmm I can see it, like, because at least on video, like the tint behind his head where like the shadow would be doesn't really pay off as much. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it, it does in person. It did soften. I should mix. Well, I don't have a ton of room. I should mix with a palette knife. Yeah, I think I'm gonna see if I can. It's probably too much yellow. Oh no. As I said, that phthalo was strong, and sometimes I forget. Well, I had too much yellow. That's going to be too much blue. And now I can't tell because it's gotten so dark on me. Let's see what we got. Not too shabby. I'm looking for kind of a blue-green. Which hmm. I don't know is going to be overthinking it because I probably want more blue. Uh, Gravy said, Art hugs to y'all. Have a blessed week and see you next time. See you next week. Great to see you. Thanks for hanging. Thanks for coming and doing your job. Yeah, thanks for <laughs> Thanks for clocking in, Gravy. <laughs> we appreciate it. I'm going to go straight at blue after does, all that does thinking. Does that count as volunteer hours? <laughs> hey, I'll sign something. Yeah. <laughs> email me. Ah, I never wipe off my brush. Is Chase texting you? No, I think I'm getting, I'm getting a... Uh... Instagram work buzzes. Oh. Should you be working instead of crocheting? No. They're just buzzes of like, people like the post you posted. People oh. liked the thing to do. You're not going to let me throw you under the bus. I get so many <laughs> Instagram notifications a day. Facebook, not so much. I think Facebook decided to filter out what I interact with. The only ones I really get are like um, when people ask to join the oh the what you call it Annie Tro Art Friends Facebook group mm -hmm. just way too long of a name but the besties group yeah but then you know you're in the right spot it's drying dark on me hmm. and I I gave up on the aqua because it's too close to the grass color. It's also too close to the sky color. Got a little bit of a problem. I might just kind of indicate his stripes in case I don't have time to Posca pen him. Oh, pick it up. It's not flowing the way I want it to. Oh, so I suppose I should finish that thought. So I grab some water. <laughs> I'm a lot better. That's something I've improved at is talking and painting. I used to get a headache. Like, my brain doesn't want to talk and paint. That's probably good. You're, like, cooking both sides at the same time, you know? Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's still not the greatest. I just had a lapse there. Is that what his shirt does? Well, it's dark. And the, the illustration is just kind of dark. So 
So I'm using brush stroke direction like I would with fur or something else. With pretty much anything. I don't know if I need to. It's not flowing very well. I'm always, you know, like somebody, well, I'll think it too. So I said, oh, that'll just take you a little bit to do. Would you do that for me? And here I am, you know, I don't know how many minutes into painting Piglet's clothes. <laughs> oh, and there needs to be a little purple between his feet. And some of it's just me being meticulous. I don't know if I really need to be doing the stripes like this. I don't think it's helping me, and I keep doing it. Um, I'm going to grab a little black. I can hear your crocheting. I know, that's why I was like, I feel like it got loud, really. Like, my crocheting got loud all of a sudden. I got really quiet. People could count how many stitches I can do, and I'm... <laughs> oh, yeah. Or crochet. Crit critique your... The sound yeah, of hear your crocheting. my... Like, I pull it tight after every... Marty says, love this painting. Oh, thanks, Marty. That's sweet. It'd be so cute in a nursery. Also another struggle of the yarn, which is definitely what this channel is all about. Oh, it's about being creative and hanging out. Is finding, so like I have a bigger, usually I roll them in balls because then they take up less space and then I just throw them in a basket. The yarn. And then I just put that yarn, the ball in my yarn bowl. If it's if I'm crocheting on it for a long time, right? But anyway, I have one of those big, big, big skeins. It's like the size of two or three skeins, and I so I try to find that center strength. So then it just like it's pulling out from the center and only a little bit. Do you ever get that? So it like comes out pretty nice. And sometimes I cannot find it. Oh yeah, when I roll them for you, I'm like, where is it? So I'm digging in the little like hole, looking for. The loose. What I like um, is that in the illustration, he's only got one cheek on the bench, just like I'm painting tonight. <laughs> he's one cheek in it. He's one cheek in it. Okay, let's, um, oh geez, 20 minutes. Ooh, Ooh. I could make this last a lot longer. I'm gonna grab. Did I? Some of my orange and a little bit of my red orange, just to make it a little darker. And I didn't dry off my brush. Oh no. What's wrong, hun? I'm trying to find the starter string. It's not working. I don't know if that got much darker. It's richer. I don't know that the value went any darker. I can see the water hanging. Well, that is. I can wipe off my brush and grab some yellow. Kind of blend it in on the fly a little bit. Grab some more yellow. Usually the glare from my light over there doesn't bother me. Hopefully it's not. I haven't really looked at the um, chat, the mm -hmm. live stream, to see if it's doing weird things. I think it looks good. Could be because I just have a blank wall behind it too. Getting more bounce light than I'm used to. If that's what you call that. <laughs> Water up my brush. All right, did that do it? Oh, that did. I can kind of see it. I just can't see it in person. Why? 
sweatshirt caught on my table. So this would be one way to blend and shade. I get that question every once in a while. Just kind of keep working it. <laughs> Work a little section at a time. Here, let's look at this dream. I gave him a belly. Oop, that's too orange. He's sweet. I like his belly. I don't think there's anything wrong with the brown. I'm just, I don't know, just playing with him. I don't know, do we like that better or not? That's always the question. It's okay if it didn't do anything. Just kind of warming up his brown a little. Yeah, I haven't painted Christopher Robin yet because some of his clothes, I'm like, what is happening with his clothes? <laughs> I can't tell. You mm -hmm. know, like, what? I mean, is that like a smock? Which is fine. Or is that like, I can't tell. There's one where I can tell it's like shirt and shorts. Mm-hmm. Where they're pulling, trying to pull poo, the, he and the rabbits. Actually, there's a whole long string mm -hmm. of critters trying to pull Pooh Bear out of a hole. I'm not really making it dark in value, but I think I like glazing with the orange. Emma will have to let me know in a minute when she looks at the live. Mm. I think he's a little cheerier. Yeah, for sure. Here's one thing I did. We can talk about an art thing. So I painted a light here, like there's some reflective light coming around. And a little bit here. I think it helps make him look rounder. A little reflect, like it's, I have a little lighter streak here. But it's not as much down here. Those kind of things are kind of fun. Takes more time to paint. Little tips. Oh, look. Every, every live I said we should paint a pair. Should I just do that next week? I don't know if we get any people watching, though. I don't think, that's why I don't do it. Mm-hmm. And I have the one video. It's, you know, making drawing and painting simpler. You paint a pair. I'm going to take a little orange. I'm always bad with wiping off my brush. I got kind of big. Let's just leave it alone. And I can't. Leave it alone, leave it alone, leave it alone. It's like picking out a scab. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> what you're basically doing, you're saying leave it alone. I know it. <laughs> I didn't go quite that far with it, I didn't think. <laughs> it made me laugh. I'm making a mess of this. <laughs> Are you? I haven't looked over because I'm trying to, like, I, I'm like, I keep fussing and I'm like, stop fussing so you can, you know, get to the Posca pen. I'm like spitting his guts out trying to find the starter. Oh, I need to put a couple. So I call these like fried egg flowers. I don't know if you can hear. Mm, I don't know if you yeah, can even see Yeah, that's a good anymore. name. With, but they have petals. But, you know, yellow center and then really, if you, uh, if you just shape it, it's like a fried egg. Um, um, they don't have to have stems. That's what I was going to say. I have a couple of them with stems. I'm just going to grab a little blue and a little... Ooh. Ooh means it's strong. I'm just going to throw in a little stem there. I think overall I like that poo better. The, the yellow is so much better. Yeah. I, I think it still could use some more orange or more darker. You could orange him up a little bit or darker. I don't know. Well, I'm also like, I need to move. I need to, I want to. Mm, he's Pooh Bear. I want a Posca pen. Well, he's definitely not too dark like the previous ones. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't think the orange is going to do it. And I don't want to go red. I'm scared to go red. I kind of like that he's chubbier. 
Although he's got a little bit of a muffin top down here. There's something going on. Okay, just call him good. Oh, here, I found a rag and then I wasn't using it. Okay, is Piglet... Oh, he's he looks so much darker in person. Oh, he does? Well, yeah. I see, well, I see the contrast between him and the background better. Mm. Okay, let's work on wings. So I'm going to... Look for some clean white, grab some clean water, thin it out. You could use matte medium. Uh, you can use gloss medium. I just don't like that it looks glossy. It won't hurt anything because I, I varnish my paintings. So the varnish evens out the, the shine. Um, I just don't like seeing the gloss when I'm painting. Let's see, I'm going to do... I think Emily's trying to be quiet and something's going on. <laughs> I was. I was trying to tear this open quiet. I've dug out. Look at his. Oh, that one isn't cooperating mm -mm. at all. So I'm just going to forget about that one and worry about that later. Because that's definitely going to be a big knot. Oh, that's no fun. Oh, well, Pasca Pen will help. Because I'm losing this one. My stomach's going to growl. I heard it already. I had early dinner, but now it's time for snack. <laughs> Is your pop gone? Oh. Uh, I got like a sip left for pop. I might have my paint too thin. Because if we outline a Posca pen, we don't need to really worry about... I was kind of going into my... Um... More real, I don't know, not realistic B mode, but my other B mode. Okay, let's put some, um, the daisies we don't need to do particularly thin. We can just do, we mm -hmm. can just go here. What's nice about the lives for me is I can turn, I try not to turn my painting too much, so I, so when I time lapse it, you know, it's, it'd be, I have a feeling I'd make people seasick or dizzy or something. But we can just blob the petals right on. I start here. Explain what I'm doing there. Um, I'm I'm chicken. Let's see. I gotta think. I want a big petal here. This petal I'm, I'm gonna do it with a little brush. So I start lighter, and then I kind of see how it's going down. So you'll see me kind of like there. I'm, I keep going over the same spot till I get the coverage I want. But I start lighter. So some a lot of times I'll do more than one stroke. Or more than one movement for a brush stroke. You can do it in just one. Sometimes it's, it's harder to paint little than it is to paint bigger. We're pretty little right here. I'm going to put a little thicker paint on that petal. Did that one quick. Okay. Dry. Do we like the balloon? I like the balloon. Do you? Mm-hmm. Do you think he needs... Be juicy or something? Well, I can put a highlight on it. I don't think he has to have it if you think he's cute. I think he's cute. Pooh Bear looks pretty good in the in the uh, live stream. Mm -hmm. I like that the sky's muted. Me too. Helps push it back. Yeah. 
little busier than I might have done, but I thought, well, it's a Pooh Bear. I mean, gotta have clouds. Mm-hmm. I think I might be drying enough for Posca pens, except for I really want to grab some yellow or something and... I don't know if it's going to make any difference. Yeah, let's go over the whole balloon. Or most, most of it. I'm trying to make it, sometimes I can make it glow and sometimes I can't. All right, I'm going to grab a little white. Okay. 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 What can I outline that's dry enough? <laughs> of course, one thing about the Posca pens, I really like them, but I'm on a canvas panel and I put two coats of gesso. Oh, I didn't say this. This is an eight inch by eight inch canvas panel. I put two coats of gesso on it, but I, you can still see the texture. Mm -hmm. Now you could put gesso on it, sand it, you know, trying to get it smooth because the pen, I'm going to have to use a light touch because the pen's going to want to splatter mm -hmm. as it catches the texture. These are 0.7 millimeter. When I sign paintings, I use a point. It says 0.9 to point. 1.3 millimeter. I'm not sure why. Maybe it just depends on if you lean the rounded tip on its side. Probably. If you push hard. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Um, Tinker says, love the color palette. Ah, primary colors, kids. It's fun. Oh, I got a blob. I got paint. Okay, maybe we'll start with a B. Let's see. I got to figure out where the... I think I have the eye for here. Ooh, I wanted to make sure I had paint flow. Now I've got, I got plenty. Goodness. I'm so. I'm not going to worry about it, how accurate it is because it's coming out really fast. Let's try and be light with it. Okay, this bee has an eye there. I don't know if there's any dragonflies in Pooh Bear. Hmm. Neither do I. Okay, so one thing you can do, one thing I'm already doing is I'm not closing my lines. It makes it easier than trying to, oh, I gotta get around the whole thing. So I'm gonna start, and you can put like a little dot. I think that used to be kind of a trend. Oh, and I just missed part of the balloon. And I just stuck my finger in the dragonfly. So normally I would dry this with a hair dryer as I go along. Mm-hmm. Because it's easier. I'm trying to make sure that paint's drying my finger. I'm going to wiggle this on purpose because then it won't, when I wiggle, it'll look like it's supposed to wiggle. Dry. Here we could do, do we, I think I want to do the flowers. Marty says, I'm sitting here holding my breath while you're doing this, lol. I know it. Well, and I'm, I, really, I don't want to whip out the hair I like the dry. little squiggle. Yeah, like instead of trying to not do it, just do it on purpose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah, so I'm trying, because of the texture of the canvas, I'm trying to use a really light touch. Everybody's like, don't ruin it. I wonder if I just kind of want to. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Don't do it everywhere. I already knew where you were going and. I hadn't even seen it in the live yet. That's why I was chuckling. Yeah. I'm just trying to think, okay, don't lay your hand on the black ink. Oh, see, I just missed it right there. It's okay. It's easier to pull, definitely in this, when I'm trying to do a really light line, definitely easier to pull than to push. Oh, I came up with the words this time. Look at the little beads. Oh, and it just, can you see how it just, it caught and it splattered just a little bit? I don't know if you can see it. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the downside. It's cute. It's like he's got a little toenail. It's, yeah. My other ones have more of it. I'm getting, the more you do anything, the better you get at it. And I just missed this line too, I think. But you know, I straightened this out a little bit when I traced it because the, um, the bench has a dip a little bit. I don't know mm -hmm. if you can see it. And then it's oh, got yeah. almost too much perspective mm -hmm. for as close as it is. Yeah. The, I, the dip isn't an interesting, it should be kind of more on Pooh Bear's side. Yeah. If there's a tip. And I've kind of really might straighten it out a little more here if I can. And I want I wavered. When I traced it, I tr I took a ruler and tried to straighten it out a little bit. I think it's cute. Mm -hmm. When I outline it, there's some people at the gallery that then really don't like it. Like, oh, but it's a storybook. And mm -hmm. Sweet. And they always sell. Yeah, I sell them. And fast. It's sweet. I mean, I don't blame them for not liking it. It's just, I'm like, well, you, you guys paint it, you know? I get a little salty. I'm pushing a line. Be easier to put. Here we go. That's easier. Take my advice. I wonder if you can hear it. Mm hmm. I mean, I, I don't know. Emily if can, can hear, hear it. it in the, yeah. See, that doesn't make sense because it connects up here, but then in the illustration, it's connecting down there. Maybe I'll connect. I'll do this. But it's also just a cute illustration. Anne, I'm going to use my legal name. We don't have to worry about. Um, I think I'll do that. And I gave him more of a nose. I like his nose. He could he could use a little blush. I tend to put blush on things. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I can hear all of YouTube holding their breath. And my hair probably is getting into the, under the phone. I just want my hair hit the phone. Yeah, if I can maintain it, the light touch really helps. Uh, Tinker says, Annie, have you dabbled with AI yet to make your own image references that way? My kids just discovered being image creator and have been having a blast with silly stuff. I picture that being like, um, to the, on the kids' side. I picture that being like when Jack and I would take our school photos and then would mess with them in Photoshop. Because we could. I, yeah, and I would just cackle and cackle and cackle. Oh, yeah, you That's can what use I the warp filter. For kids doing, yeah. But anyway, have you uh, dabbled with the AI yet? No. Um, I'm kind of a... What adjective would you use for me, honey? Where are you going? Like a copyright... Snob. 
Snob? Okay. No, not like snob in the sense of like. No, I, I'm asking for. I'm asking. Well, no, for... but not snob in the sense of like worried about other people. It's more like you're a snob towards yourself. <laughs> so AI is unregulated. It's cool. It's very cool. I oh, love Chat GPT. I and ask I've... him a lot of questions. And I've been looking into it. And then I read their terms of service. And it's like, okay, anything I create belongs to them. And most of the places I've read, like, well, mm -hmm. I, that's not going to work. I can't license it on a garden flag. Mm -hmm. um, there are artists, I mean, there's, it doesn't happen to me. But, like, you know, do it in the style of X current artist. And I'm like, well, no, that's their copyrighted work. And then the AI searched the web for artist images like on Instagram mm -hmm. which are copyrighted but they 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 um if I understand it I'm not an expert but it, it comes under the it's educational so they can do it type of oh yeah pass mm -hmm. um so I I don't do it because it's kind of like um Steamboat Willie's you're scaredy I'm scared you are a copyright scaredy cat is better than snob <laughs> well and so you know whenever I sign a licensing agreement for my art it's you know, I'm responsible. Yeah. Which I don't really like because I can't afford what the manufacturers are producing. I'm just the artist. You know? Yeah. I just paint the cow face. You know, I get paid so much, you know, five cents per wholesale sale or something, you know, mm -hmm. whatever it is. So I'm not, it's not like it's a pity party, but I'm like, okay, that doesn't make sense to risk the copyright. <laughs> you know, it's still kind of a, like... A snowman. How many ways can you do a snowman? You try. I to know. Do, you try to do an original. I mean, it, the copyright is such a thing. I it's know. It's really hard. I used to copyright my work all the time, and now it's fifty bucks for ten Im images. So I copyright them when I license them because it'll take them a while to go to market. You know. Mm -hmm. And photographers can do. Is it? Did I say like? I don't remember how many. It's like 700, 600 images. Mm -hmm. For the same price. I think like, and you know, this isn't me giving anyone permission. I think it's a different story for um, Gerald, who is a local artist and pretty much only sells locally, doesn't really have as much of like an online presence versus someone that, you know, when you work with manufacturers, it goes in like Lowe's or whatever. So you're, you're, you would probably get caught a little faster than like... I don't know if someone's literally sticking like just someone's face in a piece of work. Oh yes, yeah, it's, like it's like all the copyrighted poo bear that's on Etsy. Mm -hmm. um, oh, there's oh, Sparkles. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, there's just so many of them, and they're so small. And... Mm -hmm. I think you kind of shoot yourself in the foot a little bit if you did want to get away with it. Because <laughs> I license. Because you license, and then also like Google ability of like online. Being online and stuff. Hi, 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 hi. Yeah. What do you have to say? I think it's really cool, and I would like to do it. I know some, I know some uh, YouTube artists are doing it, and then they're, um, I don't know, they're making it available to. I'll just say they're patrons. I don't know what service they're using. Mm -hmm. um, but it's like, no, you can't resell it. You don't own it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it, de it depends on the service you use, and maybe you can as long as you keep paying that service. But then if you stop using the service, you lose all your rights. Yeah. I mean, you know, and it, then they can change their rights at any time. It's not all that different than um, my reference photos make me nervous. I didn't show those for a while on YouTube mm -hmm. because they could change their rights at any time on me. And I'm like, don't. I mean, like, come on. Mm-hmm. Marty says, hi, Freckles. Yeah. So I'm I'm a little grumpy about copyright just because it it just doesn't it's just a weird system. Kind of like a lot of things. Hard to enforce. But most countries, I think it's still true. I'm not in the loop like I was. Most countries register their copyright in the U.S. Hmm. Besides weird. their own country, they make sure they register here. Probably because we're so. I don't know, consumer heavy. Yeah. That's another thing too. Like, well, then how many countries do I have to? <laughs> mm -hmm. It's fun, you guys. Aren't you glad you asked? I'll stop. I know. Tinker's like, oh, oh I just, why did I ask? It was ask? just a cute. <laughs> why did I ask? It was, a, <laughs> it was just a 
It was I just a general things. question because her kids are having a blast with it. And it is, okay. is cool and it is fun. And I think I'm done. I need to sign. I need to. And Marty says hard to enforce unless you're Disney. Yeah, I've heard that Disney oh, is still scary on just... Etsy. Yep. Don't put a red shirt on Pooh Bear. Yeah. Now, there are some. I've heard somebody say that don't put any shirt on him. But there are shirts on the original. In the original book, he's got a shirt on in a couple of them. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, you know, it's a red shirt. I mean, I no, but I'm like, you know, some oh. expert on some like morning show. Oh. And I'm like, no, you know, yeah. <laughs> but it's hard. It is hard to get good information. You yeah. Know, they just didn't actually look at the book. Tinker sent the like the she like the face point. Yeah, like the ah uh, face, like the yeah, laughing sorry. one, but not the crying laughing one. Um. Yeah. The, I I I get on a soapbox with that stuff. Yeah, the, like, public, the announcement of, like, the, like, it was literally, like, public domain, whatever, I don't know. When I first looked it up, it was, like, red shirt. Do not put a red shirt on Pooh Bear. Yeah, but you can't put a shirt on him. Mm -hmm. Well, I think. Now, just I mean, they I weren't explicit about it, but it's, what is licensed by, by Disney is the red shirt. Yeah, I've Bear. seen that several times. And just because I say you can put a shirt on because I've seen a shirt on, I mean, you know, mm -hmm. this could get me in trouble. Maybe make it a tank top. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we did a green shirt, remember? Yeah, we did it for in his winter outfit. Or a blue or something. Yeah, we mm -hmm. did a green one. Anyway, guys, let me know if you um, give this one a try. I'm going to take a peek at the chat. If anybody has any more comments. Sorry about the uh, AI soapbox there. I think it's cool. I just think it's, you know, I think it's a problem. When I suggested we do Pooh Bear, I think you did like three weeks of research before you'd even touch the first I researched. Door. I waited. It's kind of like Steamboat. Plus, yeah. you know, I'm not crazy about the Mickey in Steamboat Willie. Of course, I'm not, I'm not really crazy about this Pooh Bear either. Yeah, I thought he looked normy. I'll do him eventually. Yeah. I'll just wait a little bit. Okay. And I don't know that it helps. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Although I did hear someone saying, because um, like they were doing, well, like there's been Pooh Bear horror Oh, yeah, there is a you know? Pooh Bear horror and, movie. And they're starting to do Steamboat Willie Mickey Mouse. There's a Mickey one now. Stuff like that. And then I, I, there's this guy on some morning show. He's like, you know, I would just wait till the shakes out a little bit, see what's allowed and what isn't allowed. I'm like, yeah. Well, and I would wait till the flood of populace. So, like, you're not the first one they're finding, you know? Yeah, that's true, too. So I'm buried like all those yeah. people on Etsy. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Barrier yeah. deep. <laughs> Marty says, another... Wednesday evening of fun. Heart emoji. Thank you. Thanks for hanging out, Marty. And well, we should put a link else. to the, the uh, tripod in the... We can do it next week. Put a what? Link to the tripod we got oh, in yeah. the chat. Oh, yeah. I'll do that next week. We'll do that next week. We'll do that next week. Okay, guys. I'm going to grab my... Do we call him Artie? Oh, I've got Posca pen paint. Here, we'll just move that so I don't get paint on Artie. Well, thanks for hanging out. Pooh Bear always brightens my day. I hope it brightens yours. Can't thank you all enough for your support. It means the world to me. Great big happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.